who provided us with eight, and MZ Promotions, who provided us with three. So, wow. there you go. Congratulations, Rich. Richie D. Gregorio of Richie to Greg Promotions. Check him out on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell him we, we sent you. He'll uh, Maybe he'll give you a, a free crayon with your autograph purchase. <laughs> So now he's gonna get mad if you said you need money. He's gonna get something away for free. God, if if he didn't, oh my God! You imagine if you didn't win, he'd be like, "Ah, I'm not giving you no more interviews. You guys suck." Yeah, you're probably right about that. <laughs> oh, all right. The moment we've been waiting for, and most of our fan base, if they're still awake, this is the award that you've been waiting for: the Female Independent Star of the Year. The finalists were Diana Perazzo, La Rosa Negra, Thunder Rosa, Bone Saw Jesse Brooks, and Ashley America. That's your finalists. Who do you got, JT? Who, who, who's your feel for Female Independent Star of the Year? Uh, um, this one was totally up in the air for me as well. Um, I'm going to go with own saw Jesse Brooks. Awesome I mean, pick. A very awesome pick. She had an awesome year. Um, you know, I mean, competing with the male athletes. I mean, yep. I mean, we also see some of the other women do, but she um, predominantly competes with male athletes and has unbelievable power and is just yep. such a talent to watch. And that is, you know, she's my pick. She was also, uh, and I'm also scared that if I don't pick her, she will kill me. <laughs> She's going to suplex you in the ring. Um, yeah. She was also the holder of the No Limits Championship for Warriors of Wrestling. A uh, a, yeah. a major yeah. male, you know, dominated title. So uh, she had to defeat a male to win that title. Unfortunately, she was defeated uh, at the last show by, by uh, Darius Carter for it. But uh, <laughs> she's not going away. Let's put it that way. I'm glad to see so that. Who who had the best year? Yeah, Diana Perazzo, who back in January she was this young, shy girl, just you know, kind Probably. of getting her feet wet, and now she, you know, she's been wrestling on NXT, and you have Thunder Rosa, who's an unbelievable superstar on the West Coast and Japan and Mexico, and an unbelievable year in, in her own, and. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I just can't say enough about her. La Rosa Negra. I mean, anybody who knows La Rosa Negra, La Rosa Negra is awesome. I mean, uh, she she got twerking skills that'll put uh, Miley Cyrus to shame. And she's uh, an unbelievable wrestler, unbelievable on the microphone. And Jesse Brooks, we mentioned Jesse Brooks, unbelievable uh, star. I think, you know, she's still got, she's still got a long way to go because her career is just beginning. And then Ashley America, who's made humongous strides from when we first saw her for Valkyrie. And now she's wrestling all over the United States. She's done a hell of a job. And uh, Jenny Rose, another another finalist, uh, just came back from Japan. She's got her own uh, uh, promotion called Aspire Wrestling. And that'll be starting in the new year. And she's, she's an unbelievable talent as well. Got to see her a couple times at D2W. So uh, congratulations. Um, to the ladies for being finalists, but of course, only one can win, and we're going to do this right. We're going to put the sash and the crown on the right person. So, uh, without further ado, the female independent wrestling superstar of the year, the Dammy Award goes to. Thunder Rosa. She takes home the award. Congratulations to Thunder Rosa, the 2015 recipient of the Dammy Award for the best female independent superstar for the year. Um, again, I can't say anything better, and I can't say any more good things about her. She's awesome. If you have not seen her, you need to hit her up on Facebook. You need to check her out on YouTube. She is unbelievable. And... Um, you know, also got to check her out on Lucha Underground. Not you know, 
plus um, you know all the shows that she does over on the West Coast, and like I said, she's done Japan and Mexico, and she's she's awesome, ladies and gentlemen. You, you can't, I can't say anything more. We're gonna get her on the East Coast soon. Promise you. I'm gonna do whatever I have to do. We're gonna fly her to the East Coast. We're gonna introduce her to pizza and <laughs> and and wrestling. So. <laughs> That's that's the important thing. We gotta get these West Coast people to know what pizza tastes like and bread. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get her over here, do some wrestling and uh, maybe a convention meet and greet. We're definitely gonna do it. And uh, I already know I think when that's gonna happen. So uh, of course that news will have to come at another time. But so Hopefully how did you like how did you like the first ever Dammy Awards, JT? I love them. Um, some surprising winners and all. All um, worthy of you know winning the, the title and the awards. Um, I, I mean, I loved it, and you know it, it was good to just get it out there finally. You know, next what year the award, you know, maybe you know, the award you know, the award show will get a little bit more extravagant. Maybe we'll have our own theme music and uh, and and fun stuff like that, and uh, you know, maybe uh, add a couple awards here and there, but. Um, I think it went pretty well. I mean, we had, let's see, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten awards we gave out. So, not bad. Not bad at all. No. No. Maybe maybe ten more on the way next year. I don't know about 20 it was. A lot of, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of trophy making, you know? We're on a budget. Yeah, but- you never stopped, you know that. <laughs> We're on a budget, you know. We, we, we gotta. They might be made of plastic. <laughs> All right, fifteen. We can cop them. We got to. We got to. We got to design the, the the 2015 ones, and we have to ship them to everybody, and I'll take some pictures. of Everybody holding up their Dammy awards. So, uh, ah, we'll see what happens. But, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the first ever. Damn you, award show, and I hope you enjoyed our final show of 2015 and season number three. There's so many people. It's insanity. So many people I would like to thank for making Damage 365 Radio and the Indie Super Show possible. Um, it's really hard to narrow it down. I know I, I did a Facebook post uh, the other day around the holidays, you know, kind of uh, got in a little bit into my, uh, I don't know, my uh, little mushy moment of the year where I threw it out there and said, um, you know, all the people that made it possible, I want to thank them and got it out there. And so I'm going to pull that up right now um, if the, you know, the computer decides to be cooperative and... Um, and we're going to make this possible. But don't forget, you know, 2016 is going to bring bigger and better. Neither Rose, the anonymous Raw General Manager, and uh, probably three other stars uh, we're working on that right now. We're in the process of working on that. But, um... This was the letter I put out. Merry Christmas to everyone that helped make the Indie Super Show on the Damage 365 Radio Network such a success this season. One more show, and it's season number four. Thanks for making all the conventions a blast as well. Thanks goes out to the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore, Warriors of Wrestling, Superstars of Wrestling Federation, Game Changer Wrestling, The Big Event, Legends of the Ring, Fan Fest, Pro Wrestling Magic, D2W Wrestling, Valkyrie Women's Wrestling, uh, CTW Charity Wrestling, UWA Elite, Jersey All Pro, Esposito's Pizza and Pasta, Double Stomp, Casey Carlisle, Nyla Rose, Angel Orsini, Cowboy Bob Orton, Justin Incredible, April Hunter, Richie DeGreg, Eric Sims, Amy Hotchberg, Nick Tallarico, John Torrey, a.k.a. JT, James Irving, a.k.a. The Sarge, Ron LaFianza, Michael Torrey, Ricky Otazu, Rob Fiore, Dave Mooch, Dave Swan, Heather Crisp, Dan Crisp, Chris Levine, 
Colin West, Brian Barth, Thomas Unger, Terrence Brennan of Legends of the Ring, Andrew Anderson, Carlene Banan, uh, also known as Jazz, John Menachino, and so many others. If I missed you, I'm sorry. But, um, you know, it's hard to put all these thanks into one post without losing people's interest because it was really long. But... We just just such a great year, you know. Each year we strive to improve from the year before. We're not trying to be any other radio show. We're just trying to be the first ever Damage 365 radio. We're not trying to be the second of anybody else. You know, we strive for individualism and originality, and I think we we've proved that time and time again. We don't we don't model ourselves and after anybody. We don't we don't do what anybody else does you know everybody else is more mainstream we we stick to our independent roots we we like to interview the the former mainstream wrestlers when they're in the independent scene uh we like to do the conventions and and meet and greet all the people we we like to bring we like to bring the fans the talent we like to bring them the people so they can say hello and shake hands and we love to watch wrestling in general whether it's independent or, you know we like to watch wrestling. You know, we like to go to the Warriors of Wrestling shows and Game Changer and all those uh, companies we named. We like to go there and we like to watch wrestling. It's not just all about interviews and everything. It's it's enjoying the moment. It's enjoying watching the future of this business materialize right before our eyes. And that's what I like to see. I like to see the, the James Rileys and the Deanna Parazzos, the Chris Steelers, uh, the, the Kyle the Beasts. I like to see... You know, where I can say, you know what, when they're on NXT, I saw them at the beginning, and it was such a beautiful, beautiful blossoming from that to TV, and it's awesome. So, uh, you know, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, being a part of the Damage 365 Radio Network family, and uh, JT, thank you for being part of it. I know you got a busy, hectic schedule, and... uh, you know, fit us in when you can, so of course we appreciate that. Coach Kev, thank you for letting me be a part of it. I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be part of any other affiliate other than Damage 365 Radio. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be your co-host for the past three seasons. I can't believe it. I know. And I am just honored and proud to be part of this family. And again, I'll say it again like I said it last time. Who knew? Two guys sitting down at a kitchen table with a couple of slices of buffalo chicken pizza with no clue how to run a radio show, with no microphones, no nothing, just sitting there shooting the breeze for shits and giggles, that it would turn into a network with six shows, two more to come in the 2016. We've traveled all over the place the West Coast coming in 2016, and uh, conventions flying in talent, and I, I, who knew that this would blossom into this? And um, you know what? If I could go back and change anything, I'd leave it just the way it happened. Same here. I mean, just a shot in the dark and a foot in the door. That's right. That's all it took. And it was because people had those doors open and allowed us to come in. That's why we have to thank everybody. And uh, yeah. thanks to, of course, our other co-host, our wrestling analyst, Nick the Beard. Um, Absolutely. Feel better, Nick. Strep throat, unable to join us on this first annual Dammy Awards show. So, Nick, get well soon. And, uh, folks, help control the nitwit population. And please have your friends spayed or neutered. And on behalf of Nick the Beard, JT, hashtag Free Robbie, the Sarge, a little Amy and anybody else that made Diamond 365 possible this past season. I want to thank you again and uh, enjoy your new year. Please be safe. Don't do nothing stupid. Stay off the road. Don't drink and drive because we want you to be listening to the Diamond 365 Radio Network in 2016.